These devices uh, work by gathering information uh, on the transmission line. They can gather the uh, conductor temperature, uh, the wind speed, the sag, and they, they can pass that information back to uh, their cloud-based system that can help us calculate uh, the line rating from those uh, characteristics. They have three accelerometers in them, and the accelerometers measure the vibrations on the line. So when the wind goes across the line, there's a certain kind of wobble that it does, and we can measure that. The sensors allow you to safely increase the opacity on your lines. Uh, it does that by measuring the conductor temperature on the line and the wind speed going across the line. Uh, with those two things, we can give you real-time calculations of how much current you can run through it. And usually that gives you a 20% gain over what your seasonal rating would be. If you think of the interstate system, you have two lanes of traffic plus the shoulder of the road, and that shoulder of the road is not used typically. Uh, we're using the, the two lanes of the interstate, but if you needed to, in, in emergency situations or perfect conditions, you could add additional traffic onto that shoulder. With the additional capacity needed on the system for whether it's load serving or additional generation, we just can't get transmission built fast enough. And this type of technology should allow us to, to utilize, when, when the conditions are right, uh, any extra capacity that's out there. So should get us through until we can get additional transmission built across the system. We're installing 19 devices uh, over two sections of transmission line. Charlie Creek to Watford City and the Watford City uh, to, to Willis and 230 KV lines, which are owned by a Western Area Power Administration. This is the first time that either Base Electric or, or WAPA is installing these type of devices uh, anywhere on their transmission system. The benefits to installing these devices is to utilize that extra capability on the system. And if we can open up additional transmission capability until our Round of Tacoma Ridge line is built, hopefully that means that our, our generation up in the Bakken will operate uh, less frequently and allow that generation to be utilized in times when we really need it. So this collaborative effort uh, ensures reliability for our members by um, opening up the capacity in the system so our generation will run a little bit less. And, and reducing the, the mandatory runtime on our generation is the reliability benefit that we're garnering from this project.